Welcome to the Dandy Way Ministry, where we share practical Christian living to God's glory. In the last episode, we looked at the folk story of the baby eagle that lived amongst chickens and always thought he was a chicken. Fortunately, he discovered his true identity and lived the exciting, winning, kingly life of an eagle afterwards. It's the same with us humans. If we don't know our own identity, if we don't know who we are, we will live far below our privileges. We will think and live failure when our lives should be a resounding success. So who are you? To find out man's identity, your identity as a human being, let us go to the Bible. In Genesis chapter 1, we find out that God created the heavens and the earth. On day one, God created light. On day two, he created the skies. On day three, he separated land from the waters and created plants. On day four, he created the planets. On day five, he created the sea animals. Finally, on day six, he created the land animals, and then he created man. And as we know, God rested on the seventh day. Just before the creation of man, in Genesis 1.26, we read, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. And we find out in the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 24, when Jesus Christ discussed with the woman at the well in Sychar, Jesus Christ told the woman that God is a spirit. If God is a spirit, then man is a spirit as well, meaning man was made of God's quality. This is man's identity, a spirit that came out of God, made of God material, not just skin color, not nationality, not tribal heritage, not a goofy accent. God made man to be like himself. You and I were made to be like God Almighty. Man is made to be creative, to speak, and it happens to be in the dominion of our own environment, wherever we may be. Have you ever wondered what God looks like? I challenge you to look in the mirror. You will make a discovery that God has a great sense of humor. Believe it or not, whatever you see, that is God's image. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.